and our men are scum, another one women are scum, and everybody is scum, okay, who is not the original people, we don't know. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Winter, if you see me for the first time on your screen, thank you for clicking. We're going to be diving into the very sweet and just like... I feel like it's a continuation from the last video. If you haven't watched the last video, please click on the description box below. The topic for today is diving into healthy relationships with people, especially in Lagos State, Nigeria. So to make this video more spicy and more juicy and like you really want to watch it and stuff like that, I'm going to be adding like a little story time. So it's going to be someone's real life story, of course and the personal love story in Lagos okay we all know okay we cannot all know but most people know how Lagos is how the hustle and bustle of Lagos is crazy the struggles the whole Lagos life is and it's a diverse place it's a place where there's a lot of people and like if you're not careful the relationships you just get lost in both you just well, you're probably working 9 to 5, but your 9 to 5 is like 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. because you're leaving very early because of Lagos traffic, then you're coming back very late at night, and the next day you go to sleep, and you're, like, you're tired, exhausted, and you don't even have time for to call your friends or to call your partner or to call the person you're in a relationship with. So, the person for me, for me, moved to Lagos and she was overwhelmed with the whole fast pace and constant move in Lagos. I, I mean, I didn't school in Lagos. I went to another state to school. So I understand the whole, when you're living in Lagos, you're living in another kind of era. So you need to be doing things in that era. So it's for me, met a guy who also lives in Lagos and she was born and bred in Lagos so he already knows how to handle the Lagos stress, how to move within the rhythm of Lagos and he was able to teach me and show her love and connection in Lagos and how to maintain these relationships that you find in a place like this so it is amazing and valuable and that is the reason why I am even doing this video because I feel like a lot of people, a lot of relationships die out because they don't know how to handle stress from other parts of their life and it affects the relationship that they have. So to give you different challenges, relationships in a place like Lagos face. So there is the understand. Okay, you when you look at the map, you will see that Lagos is actually very small. I love maps, so I read maps. So it's it's, it's crazy that that place is so small, and other states are so big. But when you're there, you're like, oh, I can see you in like two minutes, and your place is fresh in two minutes. So yeah, in Lagos, long distance is crazy i can be staying in a place that is like he and probably the friend or boyfriend or boy that i like is staying at kitsu let me use that it seems like a very long distance how do you want to do it oh my god i think people are going to say little bit like it is it's it's kind of like makes the relationship it, it is a very big challenge for me in my case because i mean i'm mean, like Green out it's once in a while but we try. Then there's also the work shadows are crazy are crazy and traffic doesn't even help. So if you plan that okay after work I'll be seeing my boo or my babe and then unfortunately the Lagos traffic decided that no go back home and sleep. There is also the societal and cultural difference. In Lagos, we have lots and lots of cultures and tribes and all that. We're very diverse in Lagos. So there are some people that don't want a relationship with the other tribe and then it affects their relationship. What if, what if a house girl likes an evil boy? Do you think their family will like it? So that kind of thing is just a very big challenge in Lagos. And I think in Nigeria as a whole. Now for the key ingredient that makes 
a relationship healthy or that cultivates or produces healthy relationships. So it's pretty simple. I think everybody knows it. Everybody, oh my God, so you need to make a relationship. For you to make a relationship work, you have to communicate, you have to trust, you have to understand. Yeah, it's easier said than done actually. Let's just be frank to ourselves. We all say it, we all know it. It's everything everybody knows, communicates. But, but there's like, there's, there's, it's not easy when you're in a position where you need to actually communicate with your friend, your partner, your colleague. It is hard. Some people bottle it up. They just bottle it in their mind and then they carry it or according to some people they bought a little they don't remember but they don't know the subconscious part of them that it is boiling and boiling and boiling one day explode. i am a strong and a firm believer for when something is up you when you're feeling some kind of way or somebody hurts you even though you don't want to say it at that particular time like you don't want to lash out at that particular time but try as much as possible to tell the person if not, it will breed resentment. It will breed resentment. There's no way. It will breed resentment. And some things the person will be like, eh, I know. I know that's what I used to do. Like, seriously. The person might never know. So if you feel like if someone has hurt you or something, please try as much as possible to communicate. Like I said, the first one is communication. So I'm just going like, to break it down into that like, thing communication, trust, and understanding. When you're in a relationship, either a relationship between friends or romantic relationship between a boy or a man and a woman or a dog, whatever, communication is like the most necessary part. If you don't communicate, it will not really work because when you communicate your feelings to other person, person is nobody they reach a wizard now. So something is space like us. Something in Lagos. Everybody's like tired. Nobody can be think about your head. In this in this community or in this economy that we are in right now, in I think in the country, nobody is in the mood to spoon feed another person. So you have to be vocal about how you feel. Nobody can read your mind. So you have to tell the person, but don't lash out. Be calm when communicating. And when someone is trying to communicate with you, Try to be open-minded and be a good listener. Probably the person doesn't want you to reply. The person just wants you to say, okay, I've heard. So you need to, you to go defensive and like those. Say, eh, it's not like that. That's not what I mean, no. The person just wants you to just listen. So communication is being a good listener and being like a vocal person. But vocal in the right form. Vocal in a place where you don't cause more arguments and more problems. So when you're in a relationship with someone, be as vocal as you can so the person can know what. So there's no, you guys are on the same page and no different books. So number two is trust. Trust <coughs> in a place like Lagos is hard. I think it's hard because we have seen even blogs that are not even helping. And we've seen experience things that happen in this, this society that we live in there is this place saying that men are scum and then one women are scum and then everybody is scum okay who is that the original people you don't know but either way i feel as if nobody is scum i feel everybody has the potential of being good and the potential of being bad we all have a little bad and good in us so you can decide which battle you want to fight where you want to go so i feel like that whole thing is just Trying to generalize something that is not true. Listen to logic, not all men are scum, not all women are scum. So having trust in this dynamic setting of Lagos State is hard because you need to know your partner. Trust your friend. Okay, for instance, if you're called by one of your girlfriends and tells you your boyfriend was seen with another girl in a restaurant, what's your what's your point? What's your first reaction? Do you Tell your friend, hi, ah, you sure I show me the place? Or would you say, oh, okay, thank you? Then call your boyfriend and like, so the other person say you saw, they saw you, this was me. That situation could also go either way, he could lie or, or he could say the truth, or he could say I'm not the one and he actually believe you. Or the third option is you do nothing, you just wait and I mean, do nothing part and wait and watch because 
a leopard doesn't ever change their skin or their spot, whatever. But in that way, trust in Lagos is, is very important because a lot of things are going so trust you until liability and mutual respect. You should respect your partners, you should respect your friends and give them healthy boundaries. Like I said, healthy boundaries are very important in any relationship, romantic or friendship. When you trust your partner and you know that, okay, my partner cannot do that. There are some things that they tell me about my like, some certain kind of friends that I have. I'll be like, mm, okay, well, thank you for your information. Thank you for giving me a of report. Well, so I know within myself, if this person is not a fan, like, all right, <laughs> like, so she cannot do this, but she cannot do this. You see, that that is trust on my part for them because they've given me no doubt that they are this kind of person so they cannot do some certain kind of thing so i feel like trust is a very wonderful foundation for a very healthy relationship especially in Lagos. then my number three is understanding when you communicate communication breeds trust and then trust breeds understanding there are some times when people just act in a certain kind of way and you want to lash out for your life mm -mm. if something is not really being really wrong she will not apply to it. then you're trusting the person you the person has communicated with you to a certain point where you trust the person so now no matter the action the person brings or gives you the attitude you're a bit more understanding to it if you do not trust that person. So it all falls in line in like in relationship triangle thing, I think. So anyway, it all falls in line. So trust your people, communicate with your people, and understand your people. And I'm telling you, there's no way you don't have like a healthy relationship in Nigeria. So in Lagos, I'll be giving you three, three practical tips on how to strengthen your relationship or how to build a very healthy relationship one is to do casual walks or cool dinner it doesn't have to be very fancy you can just like let me, let's go to one particular place oh I, I, you're at work let me come and pick you up from work and then i'll drop you at home as just something very casual something very simple i always say the little things matter it doesn't really have to be a big grand gesture. It just needs to be very little and thoughtful and meaningful. It just it matters a lot. The small small things always lead to a big thing. So you don't have to do the whole nine yards one because I want to take the girl out or I want to do my celebrate my friend's birthday. It's small the small small things just matter and they build strong relationships. The second tip is just being there for your friend, your partner, whoever. Because support, like I said in my previous videos, support is the key. The key factor in any relationship. And just being there, either by being a good listener, just listen to your, your partner or your friend's problem, or giving helpful and practical tips or help, like just giving a helping hand to that person or actually words of encouragement some people don't even need your help they just need you to encourage them like really someone is coming to meet you for a problem or something that they're going through and the next thing you do is just to belittle their thoughts or what they're going through that is not fair so errors of encouragement go a very long way then my third my third last tip in lagos is a beautiful place it's a place where we have diverse things. Like, there is there anything that you want to find in Lagos that you can't find? It's the center of excellence. So there are a lot of things. Take advantage of this thing. It's not like I'm not saying every weekend you and your friend should go out or the economy will not let you do that. But regardless, once in a while, once in every month, or two months, just to keep the back alive, just to keep the friendship friendship or relationship going just go and go to a place experience something together create beautiful memory i'm telling you your relationship will be strengthened by, by far 
I know it, I've experienced it firsthand. Building healthy relationships in Lagos, I've said it before, it's not easy. We know it. It has ups and then downs. But it is worth it because in this place, in this that we're in, we have lots and lots of amazing individuals that connect and make magic. So by prioritizing communication first and understanding, you can make a long-lasting bond and relationship that will enrich our lives in later space. Relationship goes way beyond money and relationships are connections. And when you have those in life, I feel as if you're very, very okay. So thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you've learned one of those things. So don't forget to like this video and give this video a comment on how you have been able to navigate having relationships, healthy relationships, not toxic ones. So because they're toxic ones of course healthy relationships in Lagos State give me a comment below and forget to subscribe to my channel till next time bye